Hello everybody, and welcome to TTV Newscast, episode 13, that's right, a fake out of epic proportions. Newscast AKA, we is didn't back. have enough people on today. Well, today, due to a multitude of factors, not enough news that is of interesting, you know, quality, only three people showed up, we didn't really feel like that was proper for episode 101. Our big foray back into regular episodes. So we just decided we'd bring back newscast for times like this. Woo! So I am joined today. First off, I'm Messinac, and I'm joined by. I'm LJ. And Viper. And that's all. You know, and we... I just realized is this Viper's <clears throat> first newscast? Yes, it is! Yes, it is. Congratulations, well, welcome to be news prepared cast, for nothing different. <laughs> 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 so, today we've got about five news topics to go through. And you may be like, wow, that's a lot, why didn't you do an episode? Well, they're not really that big. It's like we'll start movies. off with one of the most interesting ones. Mixel Series 2 <clears throat> is in the process of being released right now. This is what he They're... considers to be one of the more interesting ones. Hey, it is. A new set release, nine sets. Mixel Series 2 with such amazing creatures as the Frosticons, the Fang Gang, and the Flexers. The Fang Gang! Hyped? It's the Fang Gang! Don't get shot! Don't Aren't miss you those hyped? guys! They'll bust the Fang! No, I'm not hyped at all, Messo. I am Look not at hyped at that expert level very... face. <laughs> that expert okay. level face design. Folks, if you don't know, this. what Meso does on Skype, he'll take some sort of picture Wait. and make it his Skype avatar if it's just so abstract and weird, and it will be his Skype avatar for weeks on end. He's done this to a picture of a rubber duck, a <sighs> picture of a Duplo panda, and a Mixel. I'm is that sure, meant to be, sure is that meant to be this is next. Is that meant to be something off the Fang Gang? No, that's Look, the I was gonna say, flexors. he doesn't even have any fangs. <coughs> that's the flexors. He looks... Hmm. That is a weird mustache. It almost looks stereotypically Italian. You're right. Or French. Or French, yeah, I was thinking French too. And Ooh, I'm part French, here. I get to make fun of the French. We eat snails. Just kidding, I like all French Bionicle fans. They're really cool people over the Bionicle French form. <laughs> they have been... <laughs> being released for several weeks now all across the world the the three different tribes have also starred in their first mixel episode which i have not watched and probably will not watch but i will link in the description and apparently the cartoon network and lego websites have been updated to reflect them yay so if you are into it go check it yeah. out i was actually impressed with my Mixel's purchases. I got the uh, whatever they were called, the Infernites, but I was not impressed enough to buy any more. <laughs> at least oh, until that series. Cold-heartedness. At least until series three, I'm gonna get the Wizard Tribe. I am like. <laughs> yeah. The the Wizard I, I am, Tribe. I'm fairly interested in the Green Tribe. They do look interesting. I will give Lego credit. This is a very, very fitting idea for them. What they've mm -hmm. done here with the Mixels. So. Hopefully it'll make them some big money. <clears throat> cash money. Yeah, cash money for the cash ABS plastic, which you're going to replace. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yep. Oh well. GG, Lego. <laughs> GG, Let's finish see. fast. <clears throat> Next up Lego Minecraft. The end. In more ways than one. I swear, this has happened the second time. This is deja yeah. vu. Yeah. yeah. Now, we already knew this thing was coming, because we've already seen a picture of it. But now we have release date, pricing, and the official A Lego packaging. Jang review. Oh, yeah. Somehow Lego Jang got his hands on it to coincide with this announcement and reviewed it somehow. He's in cahoots with Lego. I know it. At this point, Lego has totally contacted him. I'm sure. Oh, boy. Yeah. Don't don't quote me though. He'll find me. Now this set is coming out in June. 
and is going to retail for $34.99, the same price as all the others. And yet, I can't help but feel this one isn't deserving of that price. I, I don't know. I can't. I'm sure the price point is because, A, it's been pretty much synonymous with all the others, and B, all of those minifigures. Well, what the heck are going on with those Endermen? They're They're walking around, Viper. They're walking around. They don't even have legs. They're just... They have legs. None of the the Long rectangle blocks. That's Minecraft! What do you expect from Lego Minecraft? No, but they're meant to be, like, tall, tall. (laughs) They just look like... (laughs) They look like stumps with long arms. Well, sometimes gotta make sacrifices and it is pretty faithful all in all to the end it has the it looks ender like dragon they... it has the pillars it has the portal it has enderman it looks like someone's put brock hair on top of their heads <laughs> <laughs> lol <laughs> they've all got that kind of haircut like what yeah my, my thing with this set is it just doesn't look filled out in the center and I know it, that the end aesthetically looks like that it just looks a bit empty it looks crowded it looks empty eh. compared to the other ones it looks empty I think yeah. as an actual set you'd get more value out of getting the nether set or even even the village set but as far as accuracy goes they did really nail the concept yeah it is pretty so. well done, and that Enderman is not Enderman. The Ender Dragon, is some cool stuff. Mm-hmm. I think it's because it looks really small. Like yeah. that picture well, makes it gee, look small. Micro World Minecraft sets look pretty small. <sighs> See, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I forgot. Micro in the UK means ultra grande in the United States. <laughs> Wow, just wow. I can just hear Wait. the steam rising off of Viper's head right now. Yeah, I know. You said Lego Minecraft, not Lego <laughs> Mini Minecraft. <laughs> I didn't say mi- Mini Minecraft either. I said Micro World. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's the same. It's still small. I know. Whatever, Viper. whatever. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Enough of this. Enough antics. Okay, Meso, what you have on the news palette this this week? Like, what's next? You you, <clears throat> this is news to you. There's a specific reason why I want to talk about this. <coughs> okay. Bear with me. All right. Now, BZB posted a news article called "You'll dig this Toa of Earth," and they Lame. expect people to laugh, and I didn't laugh. And it's it's Toa Onua. It's a revamp by DV, popular mockist from the BZ community and elsewhere in the Lego community. And I gotta ask a really important question here, and we've asked it before every time BZP spotlights a member creation, and I just, I can't help but reiterating it every time. Why? (laughs) I don't mean why did they post this. Why does BZP do member spotlights? What is their goal? (laughs) What is their... gives the members more popularity. That's what I'd hope for. <laughs> yeah, I see why you Except brought this up. Every Shout outs. time, every time they do this without fail, <coughs> it's of an already popular person that already gets plenty of posts and recognition. Uh, without fail, okay. it's not always DV, but it's pretty much always somebody who's already well known. And I, you know, I understand those people that popularity it's deserved most of the time their mocks are pretty good this mock in particular it's not the best thing i've seen i have some gripes but it's, it's Meso's pretty good. jealous it's pretty He's good je- <laughs> joking. Meso can't be jealous no 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 Meso does not get jealous when it comes to yeah mocks. he's he's no he's he's not jealous of being uh popular he i mean he's friends with greg farshti for crying oh out. god dang it exactly <laughs> way so to like, drive a spear through my day viper just remind me of this so, like, when I say this, don't get me wrong, I'm not besmirching the people that get posted on the front page. But I'm just, I really got a question. It's bad enough that BZP rarely even does it. 
whereas other forums do it every day. And it shows heck, they really don't made care. An event out of it. Yeah, we made some big to do over spotlighting fan stuff, chroniclers convergence, and BZP is just kind of tagging along, not really caring one way or the other about the community. And when they do care, it's of either their own staff members or already popular people, and it just makes me shake my head. <laughs> Yeah. It, it's you know, we gotta interview terrible. them sometime. Interview the staff. Like Black it would Six. Be, it would be something else. I wanna do that. Why not? Yeah. I wanna get into their head a little bit and figure out what what's going on in there. I'd imagine what's it's a pretty on? difficult job and they may have their reasons for some of the stuff they do. It's just not apparent to the outside <laughs> world. <laughs> I think, Meso, I think they need to make us staff, you and I. That no. way, you now can, anyway. You can... yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't want that for job. Involving me. Okay, Viper can become BZ <laughs> Viper. Power staff. I chose to be BZ Power staff. <laughs> See what I did there? Okay, BZP no. staff life didn't choose me. I, I chose, chose it. To get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. BZ Power staff choice. I choose you. But no, overall, no. it's a pretty cool mock. I like the torso, but I'm just baffled as to why it's on the front page. I generally don't look at DV's mocks, so I'm not familiar with it at all, and I'm not. Come going on, to man. Myself. Torso though. But meso. It's, like, it's very moda torso ish. DV. <laughs> so anyway, let's go on. Yeah. Okay. Next bit of news is another more interesting one. Series 12 Lego minifigures. We have names for them after the Simpsons line. We're back to basics, except not really. There's a bit of a mix-up because it's my understanding that this one, while it is non-licensed, it is you know, normal Lego characters, it is based off the Lego minifigures online. MMO. Oh, yeah. I think, maybe, I could be wrong, because the wording here, actually the more I read it, the more I think that's not the case. It says there's new information of the many figures that are included. As we reported before, this series won't be available until October because of the wave of minifigures that will be released for LEGO minifigures online. Uh, yeah, it seems to suggest... Wait a second. What was series 11? Was that Simpsons? Uh, or was that knowledge. series 10? Yeah, I think oh. so. Okay, uh, let's push series 12. Okay, yeah, I'm wrong. Series, it's either series 11 or it is a special series for Lego like, oh, Minifigures Online. Comes out in summer, around June, July. Interesting. And then this really is just back to basics. And the figures that we will have in it include... Space Miner, Battle Goddess, Wizard, Dino Tracker, <laughs> Swashbuckler, Jester. Like, uh, like I'm supposed to know what a swashbuckler looks like. <laughs> Pirate thing. Oh. Piggy <laughs> guy. Oh my what? god, no way. Wow. Hun Warrior, Fairy Tale Princess, Pizza Delivery Man, <laughs> Video Game Guy. Spooky uh, girl. <laughs> no. Sp spooky girl. <laughs> <laughs> Prospector, genie girl, rock star, and lifeguard. <clears throat> How interesting. They okay, are just so on. interesting. I need to comment on a couple of these things. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Space miner. You can get space miners with a bunch more pieces. Lol. Swashbuckler, do you like the sail of the seven seas? Do you have an orca named Orla? Huh. Piggy Pirates, guy. Pirates, we love to sail the seven seas. <laughs> I swear. Piggy, <laughs> piggy guy. I'm gonna with, withhold judgment. Hun warrior. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That is cultural approximation. Approximation. <laughs> approximation. Uh, a, 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 appropriation a, appropriate whatever it is man that is they're crossing some lines Cultural how do you think the hun people feel about that yeah good, good point 
Uh, pizza delivery man. Okay. Video game guy. Okay. Because I figured out, apparently I'm dyslexic. I almost misread prospector to be prosecutor, and I was going, <gasps> it's going to be Edgeworth. Oh. That'd be cool. But, yeah. And then Rockstar. Man, I didn't realize Lego was getting back in the games. Lol, you're funny. <laughs> and Not really. I'm done. And I did get final clarification. Series 11 was the wave with the gingerbread man. The Simpsons was a special wave. The Lego minifigures MMO will be a special wave. And Series 12 will be normal. So Lego minifigures all around. An absurd amount. <laughs> no kidding. But they're cool. Yeah. With that being said, the final piece of news today is a small but interesting one. Lego Kuso is dead. What? Lego Kuso has been killed. Ended. Why? Scrapped. How? What's going on? And it has been replaced with Lego Ideas. No! <laughs> <laughs> Why with such generic names? Yeah, like Kuso. Nobody ever knew really what it meant. It just was a funny source for jokes, like Lego Kuzco and other it stuff. It reminds me of Kuzco's Cus yeah, uh, Emperor's New Groove. Why? I, I, I swear, Why? this definitely disturbs me, but not for the reason it bugs everybody else. This oh. bugs me because I will never again be able to hear Kahi missay Kuzco and say Kuzco. <laughs> Lego Kuzco. Now he's going oh, to say <laughs> Lego Ideas. Ideas. <laughs> And it drives me nuts. I'm I, I can't I can't get him for that one again. Like I can Calander, or letter H, or or H. Well, he'd argue that one, but Calander or some other stupid mispronunciation Sword. or Lua. Sword. Hey, I'm watching you. <laughs> Lua is best pronunciation. Anyway, Lua yeah. sucks, but Lewa is cool. Lego Kuso is dead. Long live Lego Ideas. No. Short live Lego Ideas. <laughs> Alter, did you ever see The Emperor's New Groove? Uh, I think so, but it was many okay. years ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna chuck you off a bridge. Yep. Alright. That's all for today. LJ, you remind me of that, the, like, the crazy lady in there. And like Meso's like Kronk. Just that very idea. It's funny. <laughs> Meso with like an ultra deep voice and like a little itty bitty paraca skull and this huge Arnold Schwarzenegger muscular he, body. He, he like he like has that pet squirrel, but instead instead it's like his mixel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> This is destabilizing okay, I, I have fast. To... <laughs> I have a request. Please, whoever listens to this, make that an image and send that to us. <laughs> Please do. LJ, LJ's like, mess <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, LJ, what's going on? <laughs> I think I'm gonna open up a... Um... I'm gonna open wow. up a cafe. You know, they made a spin-off about Kronk. Yeah, yeah they made a movie. Wait, I, I had a Kronk voice. What was it? Well, hello, everyone. No, I can't do it right now. It was an Ace Attorney voice I did. But... <clears throat> Whose voice? I forget. That's the thing. You sickened me. Huh. Anyway. Got off my back. I guess that's all for TTV Newscast episode 13. It's back and better than ever. No, just kidding. It'll be gone for another six months. Crunk Knack's new groove. Yeah, <laughs> that would be the episode title. But I'll ask. All right, another in the basket. No, so the suggesting you threw me off the bridge suggests that I'm uh, Cusco. <laughs> yep. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Comment in the description if you feel like it, and make that image. <laughs> we will see you all yes, next please. time for the next exciting episode of the TTV Newscast in another six months' time. Thank you for watching. 
I'm Mercedes. I'm LJ. I'm Viper. And goodbye!